Hi guys, so apparently a lot of people are confused with how equipments work and in this video I'm gonna explain you guys how skins and items, equipments, sort of all of that stuff actually works and by the end of this video you will have hopefully figured out exactly what's going on. So obviously as you can see we're currently in a raid setting and uh, basically skins and items are rewards from the raids. Now there is two chests in the raid rooms and let me just go ahead and clear through the entire thing I guess because uh, why not uh, just so we can actually showcase this properly so yeah there is two chests on every single raid there is one chest uh, either at the mini boss or like at the side so as you can see right here in Demon Slayer raid we're gonna go here on the left side uh, actually as soon as we kill this guy and there is a chest now chests will guarantee to give you one item sometimes they will give you two and that fires and drop chance this is something that uh, Trademark has done although I think that uh, it should be changed and there you go so this is the chest now chests give you items which can be anything from a uncommon to common sorry not uncommon to cosmic now Skins are basically mythical only equipment that drops from raids and it is for mythical units and obviously cosmic uh, skins are for cosmic units and that's basically how the whole thing functions like skins only go on mythical units so the mythical equipment will always be a skin for the length of that map so for example in this map we're gonna have a, a Zenitsu skin dropping uh, and now what people seem to get confused about because there is obviously like hundreds shall i say of items as you can see like everything is pretty much different in my inventory right at least like 99 percent of the items in my inventory are uh, different so i will explain you how it actually works and okay so my daily chest is not actually of cooldown so yeah there we go we have another chest right here and we got a cloak and we also have the purple chest which is your daily chest now this always has two uh skins inside and i guess it has better odds as well but uh, anyway, so let's uh, proceed to actually talk about how uh, the skins and the items actually work. Now, first things first, there's obviously the rarity, which affects how good a skin is, right? So I don't have any uncommons because I deleted all of them in commons. But yeah, basically we have the commons, which are the grays, uh, the uncommons, the blues. Then we have the rares, uh, which are the blues, sorry, the other ones were the greens. And then we have Epic, Purple, Legendary, Mythical, and we have Cosmics, which are not in the game. Now, as I said, Mythicals are the skins for the Mythical units, and skins only go on the corresponding units. But the rest of the equipments can be equipped anywhere. Now, there's seven different categories of items you can roll, and I think this is where people get confused. And we're going to show uh, all of the categories one by one. Now, we have Demonic, Furious, Arcane, Stalwart, Ruthless, Knowledge, and Perfection. I start which was one by one and I'm going to showcase you guys what every single one of these items does. Now, uh, we're going to start with Demonic right here and we're going to be taking uh, Mythicals as an example this time. Obviously, the rarity affects the stats and percent wise. It's going to give you like 10% damage, 20% damage, 40% damage, 5% damage, etc. And then like the category obviously has different stats. So we're going to start with Demonic right here. Uh, Demonic gives you 20% damage and 10% critical strike chance. That's on the uh, mythical difficulty. So Demonic is probably something like middle of the pack. Uh, it's always uh, not that bad, but there can be a lot better items. Next up, we have Furious. Uh, Furious gives 40% attack speed and 10% critical strike chance. I think this is slightly better than Demonic, although this has not been tested, so this might as well just be wrong. But with my common sense, I think that uh, this is... Uh, better but uh, anyway uh, common sense is uh, a weird thing these days so yeah don't take my word for it next up we have arcane arcane gives 40 percent ability damage okay ultimate damage uh i think that's good but i think the other two are probably better i don't know maybe i'm wrong on this one but yeah uh that's arcane is essentially the ability damage now we have stalwart stalwart it reduces your stun time by 80 percent now stun is something that happens when you get uh, hit by the lines or the Basically the red floor on the mechanics of the bosses. So yeah, basically this is kind of a useless one considering like if you play properly, you are never going to get stunned, right? So yeah, Stalwart is the worst one by far that you want to go for. And then we have Ruthless. Ruthless is 40% damage. I think Ruthless is the second best one uh, out of all of them. Since it's basically a better version of Arcane, not only it buffs your ultimate damage by 40%, but uh, your actual like damage as well. And lastly, the best one, actually, no, never mind. 
not yet, not yet. Sorry, my bad. Uh, next up, we have Ascent of Knowledge. Uh, now, this is a great item. Knowledge, it uh, reduces the amount of XP needed to level up a unit, and this could be very handy in the future. Now, obviously, you need only one of these, as you can level only one unit at a certain time. So just having one of these is enough. Uh, it's a great item to have. And lastly, we have Ascent of Perfection. Now, Perfection has uh, pretty much uh, both damage and attack speed, as you can see. It also has a little bit of movement speed, and it's actually great. So it is essentially like having a Ruthless with 20% additional attack and movement speed. So yeah, that is by far the best item. And yeah, this is basically the seven categories that an item can be. And after that, the rarity of the item just decides the amount of stats uh, it's gonna have. Now, let me go back here into my inventory. I only have rare plus, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully... Okay, so there you go. So you see here, a Furious, a rare equipment, has 10% attack speed and 2.5% crit chance. Now, a Furious Epic. By the way, these are some of the new items that were added yesterday. That's why they don't have pictures like this Ice Axe or this uh, Zebra Hat or this Giant Helmet right here. These are uh, equipments that were added yesterday. That's why there's no pictures. Black Backpack, Leaf Frog and whatnot. But yeah, back to the point. So. An epic is, as you can see, 15% better, 15% attack speed, and 3.7 critical strike chance. Now, we're gonna go here to the scythe, legendary 20 and 5, and a mythical is 40 and 10. I don't know the stats of the cosmic, but I would assume that it's just uh, that much better, maybe like 60% if it carries out with this ratio. So you kind of get the point. So hopefully by this point, you probably understand exactly how skins work. Now. As far as I know, and this is uh, not me trying to hide any info from you, I actually don't know. I think I've heard Tremor mentioning that uh, drops currently affect like your chances to get two skins instead of one, and like pretty much skins probably have a fixed drop rate. Uh, I actually disagree with this. I think that drop rates should give you better odds at the better rarity. That's my opinion. And I actually spoke with Aaron about this two days ago. And he kind of liked this idea. So yeah, uh, rates as a whole, as you guys have probably noticed, are uh, not uh, entirely functional at like 100% satisfaction rate. Obviously, it should be fixed probably within the next week or two. Uh, balance and everything. And yeah, uh, besides that, drops do obviously affect medals earned. So invest in a drop team. And there's actually a huge bug that's going on right now. Uh, very huge. If you're watching until this video, comment bug in the comments. Just write bug in the comments and pay attention to what I'm going to tell you now. This might sound full troll, but it's actually real. So, uh, if I go ahead right here and equip my drops team. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, what the hell am I drops? Am I blind? To be honest, guys, am I blind? Do you guys see any drops? Okay, drops, uh, drops drops and i'm pretty sure i have more drop units somewhere okay drops there we go so as you guys can see right now my drops are at 9.2x now there is something really weird happening with the game and if you have a decimal in your drop rate you actually get less than what you should be getting so for example if i have 9x drops i will be getting something around 200 uh, medals per dungeon per raid but if my drops are like 9 point something like this, for example, 9.2 X, I am going to be getting a lot less drops than what I am actually supposed to be getting. And this is kind of crazy. Somebody said it yesterday and I thought I was like, he was crazy. But then I saw it uh, reported as a bug on the tester chat as well. And that is just crazy. I don't know how even people like notice that, but that's crazy. So be wary, try to actually hit a number that's like a hole without a decimal. If you want to have, uh, if you, Rather, don't want to have problems. And there you go. So 8x drops. So yeah, uh, just keep that in mind. Try to have a complete like number without any decimals. It's going to ruin your drop chances. But I would assume that by the end of today, uh, it's going to get fixed. Dyrab will get on it and he will fix it because it's kind of a, a very important bug, I would say. But yeah, anyway, guys, that was pretty much it. Hopefully by this point, you guys realize how uh, things function and work uh, in regards to items. So yeah. That was pretty much it. As always, if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all on the next one. Take care.